रहमान रहीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम स्टूडेंट्स इट्स मी योर साइंस टीचर शानजा होपफुली यू ऑल आर फाइन हैप्पी एंड हेल्दी आर टुडेस टॉपिक इज चैप्टर नंबर 5 व्हिच इज प्लांट्स बट बिफोर डिस्कसिंग इट आई हैव अ मोर लेसन फॉर यू व्हिच इज नेवर प्लक फ्लावर्स प्लक मींस तोड़ना वी मोस्ट ऑफ अस आर हैविंग दिस हैबिट दैट वी यूज्ड टू प्लक फ्लावर्स व्हेन वी लाइक them but this is really bad as we all know that uh, plants are living things and uh, this act of plucking flowers is really bad we should avoid this our today's topic name is plants as we all are having plants in our houses and it's really good that we are having plants around us and plants are really healthy for our eyes if we are having plants around us it improves our eyes health plants grow in soil as we all know that plants grow in soil and plants need sun and water to survive sun and water so these three things are really important for plants in soil sunlight and water plants are able to prepare their own food so they are called as autotrophs a u t o auto t r o p h s trophs autotrophs as we read in chapter number 2 that animals are called heterotrophs because they are unable to prepare their own food but plants are different plants are able to prepare their own food that's why they are called autotrophs okay very important question that what plants give us they give us oxygen they give us fruits they give us vegetables and a lot more things oxygen helps us to breathe fruits for example apples oranges mangoes etc vegetables carrots ginger garlic etc so plants are really useful for us some plants are ornamental means they are used for decorative purposes we use these plants for the decoration of our houses for example rose plant and many plants so these three plants are used for decoration of our houses second medicinal plants so these are the plants which are used in different remedies means these plants are really useful for our health for example the pea plant and the aloe vera plant so these two plants are really useful for our health and they are used in different remedies for our good health do you know that the plants grow in water are called and the plants which grow in deserts and they are called desert plants means as we read that the animals which live in water are called aquatic animals so the plants which grow in water are called aquatic plants there are some examples of aquatic plants first one is water lily and second is floating heart some desert plants first one is barrel cactus and the second one is desert agave there is a process of growth in animals which is called photosynthesis p h o t o photo s y n t h e s i s photosynthesis you have to learn its spelling and you have to do its word and practice also 
plants can grow if water carbon dioxide and sunlight is available means plant can only grow when they are having water sunlight and carbon dioxide soil contains nutrients mean nutrient means use useful elements in soil these nutrients are carried by the water through roots means जो soil में nutrients होते हैं अच्छे गजा अज्जा होते हैं वो water के through roots अपने अंदर absorb कर लेते हैं the the leaves make food for the plants in the process in the presence of sunlight और जो leaves होते हैं पौधे के they prepare the food for the plants in the presence of sunlight with the help of sunlight the leaves make food they absorb carbon dioxide and in return give us oxygen means plants the leaves absorb carbon dioxide from the environment and they release they give us in return oxygen got it plants absorb carbon dioxide and they release they give us oxygen this process is called photosynthesis you can see in the picture that there is a plant and the leaves are absorbing carbon dioxide and they are releasing oxygen there is sunlight and the roots are absorbing the useful nutrients from soil with the help of water there are some major parts of the plant there are three major parts of the plant number 1 roots number 2 stem and number 3 leaf before discussing these first of all look at this picture this picture is having a plant which is having roots under the ground and the upper portion which is outside the soil is stem and leaf got it so the portion which is outside the soil is called aerial part aerial part number 1 roots root is the underground part of the plant means zameen ke niche ka hissa it acts as straw which absorbs water from soil means roots act like a straw you might be having drinks or juices with the help of straw straw helps us to drink juices so same is the working of roots that roots absorb water from soil number 2 stem stem is the aerial part of the plant as i told you that the aerial part means the part which is outside the soil it gives support to leaves and branches means ye support kisko karta hai leaves ko aur branches ko it carries water and nutrients from roots to the other parts of the plant means roots se it's called tana okay with the help of stem the water goes everywhere number 3 leaf leaves are also the aerial part of the plant means zameen ke upar wala hissa they are green in color they make food for the plants in the presence of sunlight means in the presence of sunlight sunlight ki maujoodgi mein with the help of sunlight they make food for the plants there are two types of uh, leaves simple leaf and compound leaf this picture is of a simple leaf and the second one is a compound leaf means 
you can say mixture of simple leaves there is an amazing fact that uh, there are some plants which eat insects and these plants are called insectivorous i n s e c t i v o r o u s insectivorous plants they are also called carnivorous plants carnivorous means meat eaters for example sundew venus flytrap and pitcher plant in the end your homework means you have to read this chapter two times this is your homework okay allah hafiz